Hey everybody, I am Scott Nixon from uh, Meal Mentor and Happy Herbivore. Today we are going to make the Green Goddess Bowls from this week's meal plan. Um, so the, if you look at the top of the meal plan, it actually says total time 7 minutes, active time 3 minutes. So I'm actually going to set a timer and you can watch me kind of do everything. I did kind of prep a little bit of stuff. I've got stuff out on the counter. I've got a couple of bowls. Um, Alright, Alexa, set a timer for 7 minutes. Seven minutes, starting now. All right, so Alexa set the timer. I've already put a bag of Trader Joe's microwavable rice in the microwave, and so I'm just gonna do, uh... so I've got the, I got the rice in there. That's the first thing on the list. Now I gotta cook the spinach. All I've done is taken this package of chopped spinach and put it in the pressure cooker with a little bit of water. And uh, I'll just do like a minute. And uh, now I'm gonna measure out some broccoli. So it calls for, this recipe calls for six ounces of broccoli. I'm not gonna get a scale out. I'm just gonna like eyeball that, you know, six ounces-ish. Might be a little bit much. Um, and I need three-fourths a cup of green peas. Well, it's always interesting how when you come up with these three-fourths things. Got to use two, two measuring things to make that happen. All right, so, all right, half a cup. I'm just putting these all in one bowl because, you know, eventually it's going all together anyway, so why not just put everything in one bowl? All right, all right, boom. All right, we got all the peas in there. That's going to go in the microwave after, um, after the rice is done, um, all right, we gotta do two green onions. So I got my green onions. Here, I'm gonna lower this down so you guys can actually see what I'm doing here. So, get rid of the ends. All right, beautiful. All right, so that's all the prep work. So that could be done separately from the actual cooking part. So you could literally set kind of this stuff aside uh, for later. Now I'm gonna make the, uh, the green goddess dressing. So that is next on our, on our meal, recipe, meal plan recipe. And the reason I'm basically starting from top to bottom is because that's how the, the, the recipes are organized. That's how the directions are so you can literally follow along. And so I need two tablespoons of tahini. And so get my uh, little measure out. I'm sorry, it says tahini. Um, in my case, I'm using hummus. So uh, it's a little bit uh, tricky to get, a, get the hum right amount of hummus in there. Just add a little more. All right, a teaspoon and a half of red wine vinegar. I, Lindsay is kind of like uncertain about these these magnetic measuring things, but I love them. I think they're just fantastic. Oh, we got like the little slow pour spout on this thing, so. All right. Uh, Uno. I got pretty close to the half tablespoon, but I'll, uh... All right. So I was actually... Well, I'll just put one of the green onions in here. Um, now I need lemon juice. So I got my lemon already. Also something I'm probably not going to measure. Um, I'm just going to do what I can. not Hold it up so that I avoid putting too many seeds in there. Because if you do it face down, you know, you can't really tell how many seeds go in there. But if you do it face up, and let it just go through. Oh, see, there you go. There's a seed. All right. All right, I got that. All right, um, and we need a half a teaspoon of soy sauce. All right, teaspoon. Boom. So these these are really cool because they have uh, dry ingredient measurement and wet ingredient measurements on either side. It's one of the reasons why I really like them. And like I was saying, they all like stick together, so they just kind of like are easy to kind of like. So it's 
It's really neat. Um, and I need a teaspoon of garlic powder. Pull that back out. Boom. All right. And uh, I can have a, a massive affinity for whisks. So, so there's kind of the goddess dressing. And so what you're basically going to do is combine all the defrosted ingredients. Do like two minutes. So basically what we're going to do is just combine all of these ingredients. We've got the rice. Where did I put my bowl? Oh, my bowl's in the thing. So, I'm going to do it like this. Now, I'm supposed to measure out, it's supposed to be two cups of rice. Watch your hands at home, folks. So, I'm going to measure this out. Try not to burn myself with the hot rice. Now, I will tell you, this is supposed to be two servings. So, uh... I should probably not put this second thing of rice in there. So I guess this bag is actually two, uh, two cups of rice. Um, so that's pretty, pretty nice and easy. Get us started here. Um, got another minute on that in the microwave. I'm gonna check it out on the uh, pressure cooker. The only problem with the pressure cooker, it takes a little time to get, to get going. So the pressure cooker, you know, like, you got water and then you turn it on and it's got to warm it up to where it creates pressure and creates steam and all that stuff. And you can actually see, can you see the steam? It's actually, it's pressurizing. One of the things is, once your pressure cooker gets a couple of, couple of months old, sometimes it takes a little time for that thing to catch. So it's pressurizing and it's got to get the pressure up. You got to like bang on it a little bit. Alexa, how much time do we have left on our timer? You have one timer. A seven-minute timer with about ten seconds left. Ten seconds! Oh, man! Well, all the prep is done, so we definitely got the prep done in, like, less than three minutes. Um, it's mostly we're just waiting on... This is that inactive four-minute time that we're kind of waiting on things to be done. Um, all right, there, there's our timer. So that's been seven minutes. Um, yeah, this could probably... Probably use another minute and a half. Uh, see if we can get this going. So even though I failed, Alexa, stop. Even though I failed to get the seven minute thing, um, you can see how like the prep of this was really, really super quick. Um, and you can see how delicious this, uh, yeah, I mean, you just, all you guys to see is some kind of like yellow niche stuff, but this is really good stuff. The, um, this Trader Joe's eggplant hummus, is like the bomb. It just, I love it. I usually get tired. Uh, I usually get tired of, of a lot of things. Like I'll get tired of like a, a flavor of hummus or something like that. But for whatever reason, uh, this stuff I can just eat and eat and eat. And it's this stuff is is pretty um, easy in the digestion and it's low fat and stuff like that. All right, the pressure cooker's kicking. So, and it's only going to do a minute. So that would be done. I mean, uh, what I can do is, uh, well, what can I talk about? Hmm, I don't know. You know, one of the things that made this really easy to have was to have everything out. I like literally just use, you know, this nice little little recipe here, fold in half, because you can see it's a full page. So you just fold it in half. That's part of why the recipes are designed the way they are. You just fold it in half, and then you just lay everything out. Um, and just kind of think through a little bit about what you need. Like, do you need measuring cups? Do you need a knife? Do you need a cutting board? Um, and then, you know, it just makes it so much easier. I mean, this is going to be one of the biggest parts about, like, making your life cooking easier is prepping things and just kind of thinking things through a little bit. And it's not very stressful. It's really easy. All right, so this is already done. Now, unfortunately, because this is a pressure cooker, I'm going to release the pressure. And that's going to take some time. So... Uh, yeah, you know, um, it's really, really, really simple, simple recipe. All right, this stuff is definitely done now, so I'll just, 
I basically put two servings in this bowl. So I got two servings worth prepped up. Um, and I will tell you, I made a mistake and uh, my I added too much red wine vinegar to this dressing. So I'm gonna put more hummus in it to kind of dilute it down a little bit. And we'll whisk that again. Make it a little thicker. I can thin it with maybe some more um, tamari. And I don't know if you guys know, but so tamari is basically soy sauce. It's just like a better processed version of, of soy sauce. A little more high quality. All right. And I am gonna need something to actually touch this hot guy. All right, so pressure cooker done. So, I mean, it's not very exciting. It's just, uh, like I said, it's uh, chopped spinach from those little freezer packets. Um, and let me just uh, get a spoon here and we'll spoon some stuff in here. So, um, you might be like, oh, frozen stuff. The interesting thing about frozen stuff is that frozen stuff is actually usually better a lot of times than the stuff that you actually will get like in your produce section of your um, grocery store because the frozen stuff is essentially picked at its peak, um, at the peak of its uh, freshness and its peak, it's the peak of its, uh, what do you call it, ripeness. Uh, so like when you pick like say fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, obviously greens are usually not something that you have to worry too much about being like at their peak of freshness. but. Uh, with it. And I'm just squeezing, like, you know, because this is spinach and you know, it gets a little watery, so I'm just kind of squeezing some of this water out. Uh, make it easier. Try not to burn myself. Um, and uh, now I got, got my little, I am not the prettiest, and I imagine I'm not alone in that because, you know, you know, even though I'm supposed to be doing this to, uh, you know, to entice everybody. I'm just kind of trying to like get this done because I got some other stuff going on today. So I wanted to like just share everybody. So that's it. I mean, it's really, I mean, we're talking about like super, super simple rice, peas, spinach, broccoli. And you can, if you, if you have problems with broccoli or spinach or any of that stuff, you can always just, you know, use something else. It's the whole point of this is just to get you to eat some greens and get you to eat some healthy food. And, uh, and, uh, let me check, let me check this out because I haven't, I don't know that I've had this in a long time. It might have been about a year since I've had this recipe. Oh yeah, that's good. Oh yeah. Awesome. That's all you need. Maybe 10 minutes. Even though I said seven, might be more like 10. All right, everybody, thank you.